Hey guys, another transmission issue, but really not a transmission issue. If you see this coming out of the transmission, no worries. Be patient. It's an easy fix. I mean, obviously, it takes some work, but don't worry. The transmission is still good. And this car came in, the dipstick and the transmission was very creamy. The customer actually changed the radiator already, and which is fine, which is good. He did the first step. Then, of course, you still notice the problem, it still persists. Obviously, this uh, radiator was, has failed him. Uh, what happened is, you know, you have a cooler line that goes, two cooler lines, one go, they're both coming from the transmission, really. But they also go to this inner cooler right here. Right here, so inner cooler. You so you have one hose here, and you have another hose there. So all that doing is just a loop. Going from their radiator into the uh, transmission cooler, and then back to the transmission. So all that doing is to trying to cool your transmission fluid so it doesn't get overheated. So obviously, we notice all this issue here. The main problem here really is just the is, uh, the uh, radiator. He's already changed that, but unfortunately, the problem still uh, exists because the transmission is full of that water and transmission fluid mix. So the mix cause of that the cause of that is because it has been mixed up here in the radiator, the original one. But it's, as you can tell, this is a brand new radiator. Uh, it's just been changed. So radiator is good right now. So we're going to focus on flushing the transmission cooler. That's, that's one thing. Or we might as well just replace that whole thing while we add it. Um, but main problem is here. So we're going to drop the uh, transmission pan. As you can see, it's dripping now. We got a few bolts in it still remain just to catch it. While we have this creamy, uh, it might say the uh, iced coffee. <laughs> Not really, but uh, that's what's happening. So we'll fix this, no worries. And if it ever happened to you guys, just chip, check your dipstick. Flush your tra if your radiator is still good, you can still flush it. If not, change the radiator. But you have to come in here and change the, uh, uh, drop down the pan on this case here. And of course, change the filter and really, really flush that transmission and to get it going again. That this car still works. I know, ironically, it still works. Uh, surprisingly, I should say, it's it, it, it's working, but it's not going to be working for too long if we don't get this fluid change out and of course, uh, put new transmission fluid in. So here we have it. We're going to do it. We're going to drop the pin down, put a new filter in. And of course, we'll show you the finished product, okay? So, I mean, it's pretty common. That's happened most of the time. It's the cause of fail of radiator or a transmission cooler. But most often time, it's 98% of the time is your radiator. So in this case, not a blown head gasket. It's not a bad transmission. It was just a bad radiator, which we already changed or he changed already. Now we're going to do the rest of the work for the customer. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll see you when it's finished up. We'll check the dipstick. Of course, we will not see this creamy color anymore. We will have everything working like it's supposed to be that red color uh, transmission fluid. All right, peace out.